Hi, and welcome back to our channel. So it's that time of the month again where we talk you through all of the favourite projects that we've been absolutely loving throughout the month of April, which I can't believe is April Another already. Month. I know. And um, so yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so I'm going to start with a hair care item today, and as you may or may not have noticed, I've had a bit more blonde put through the ends of my hair ready for the summer, and I've been using this Touch of Silver Brightening Shampoo to get rid of any brassiness any orange tinges. Yeah. Um, I only use this once a week and it just really helps to keep your blonde looking blonde. I used this when I've previously had my um, some sort of blonde put through my hair mm -hmm. um, and it really helps prolong the colour and I hardly have to have it coloured when I'm using this because it really brightens it up and yeah. really keeps it looking like it's yeah. you know, really fresh. So I've really enjoyed that one since I've had my hair. Do you done. use that one every time or no, just once, once a, week, a week maybe? Yeah. Um, it's sort of, it's obviously a purple shampoo. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it is the purple colour. Yeah. It does cover your bathroom tiles slightly <laughs> when you're lathering up, but um, it's a really great one for yeah. keeping your hair looking really fresh. Yeah. Good. Okay, so my first product is a similar one to Amy's. It is a um, shampoo, and it's by a brand called Celeb Luxury, and it's a Viral Extreme Silver Colour Wash. Um, this works a little bit differently to Amy's. It only um, works on hair which is pre-lightened white to sort of the palest blonde colour, so it only really works on the ends of my hair. It sort of gets rid of any orange tones, but also goes more of a silvery shade, mm -hmm. um, which is what I really, really which like. To, yeah. yeah. Um, so. When they first used this, um, I just literally had my hair bleached, so it took really, really quickly. But it's just a shampoo, so I mix this um, sort of half and half with my regular shampoo, lather it on the hair, and then you can leave it on. I think the longest I've left it on now is probably only about three minutes, because I'm still a bit um, unsure of how quickly it's going to work. Um, but yeah, it's really good, it just keeps everything nice and ashy. Um, so yeah, it's a good one. That sounds lovely. Okay, then my next pick is a skincare item, and it's actually from Superdrug, and it's their natural, naturally radiant glycolic tonic, yeah. which is 5% glycolic acid. This I have been using, I've only used a little bit of it, um, but this I've read some great reviews about online, uh, that it's a really great glycolic um, toner. Mm -hmm. This I find really easy to use, I just, um, it comes in sort of a, you can just few, squeeze a few drops mm -hmm. out of the cap. Um, apply it to a cotton bud and swipe it all over my face and chest and neck. Um, of an evening time and I'm using these rather than my nip and fab pads at the moment yeah, just because I want sort of to, to get a bit more glycolic into my routine yeah. but this is a really great um, sort of toner mm -hmm. um, I'm not well, it's quite fruity when you smell it yeah oh. it's a bit of an odd one yeah I'm not you know sort of I, I'm not sure I'd buy it again but I've enjoyed using this yeah. one Definitely. Yeah. It's good to see drugstore, how they compare. Yeah, and that they're actually bringing out sort of active ingredients. Yes, definitely. Now, and I've been using um, an old MD Formulations glycolic cleanser, which I find brilliant on my skin. I leave it on for a minute or two when I'm cleansing in an evening. It really helps to brighten the skin. I can no longer buy that anymore, so I'm looking <laughs> for an alternative to get my injection of glycolic yeah. each night. So this is what I've been sort of testing at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my next one is another hair care item and it's the Weller Brilliance Treatment for Coloured Hair. Um, so again, another purchase I made at the hair salon last time oh, I went. Smell this one. It smells really good. Um, so yeah, I had my hair cut, um, but with oh. the amount of bleach going in, I thought it was a good that idea. So good. It is really lovely, isn't it? I thought it was a good idea to sort of have a really good treatment just to protect the ends of my hair. Um, it's a good um, bumper size. It's 500 mil, I believe. It is, quite a um, size. It is a good size. Um, so you'll need a little bit. So I think this will last me a very long time. Um, but yeah, I don't tend to buy much um, professional hair care. Very much of shampoos, conditioners. I tend to just pop down and grab whatever I can in sort of boots. Um, but yeah, this is really good and hopefully it's going to protect my hair. Yes. Lovely. Okay, so my next pick is from Apotheca, and this is their um, SOS Recovery Now on Cuticle Oil. Well, this is my second um, lot of this, mm. and I've only used the top to start with. It's on a roller ball at the top, and I just apply it to each of my cuticles each night, massage it in. Sometimes I do it in the morning as well because my nails need sort of a bit of extra care at the moment, but they are sort of growing and they're mm. getting quite strong again, which is down to this. And this smells lovely. You smell that. Mm. Smells really I think nice. I try that, yeah. Um, it's got lemon, lavender, and myrrh in it. Mm -hmm. Now this is a great brand. Go and check Apotheca out. They do all sorts. They do hand creams, face oils, cleansers. And it's a really. This is probably my favorite. Yeah. This is the really? um, yeah. The cuticle oil is probably yeah. my favorite. Oh, 
Yeah, that sounds good. So my next one is by The Ordinary and it's their Buffet Serum. Um, so this is a sort of um, multi-complex um, peptide serum. Um, so peptides are amino acids, they join together, create peptides and um, proteins in the skin and they really sort of work on the top layers. Um, so I really like this for any texture issues that I have. I, I mean, I've been using this every night and I'm this is on my second bottle now. I've actually started using it down my neck more because I've noticed a few little lines <laughs> and sort of the texture of the skin um, isn't that great actually when I looked in the mirror, which is great. Um, so I've been using the buffet every night on it and I have noticed that the texture's improving and hopefully the lines will start diminishing a little bit yes. as well. Um, but it's super affordable, it's £12.90, um, which not now, but at the time it was their most expensive serum. Um, but for 30 mil, it's still mega, um, mega cheap. I wonder how that compares to the Matrix or because yeah, I really enjoy those peptide serums. You use that one, don't yeah, you? And, and that's that really got hyaluronic as well, really plumping. So I might I like try that, that one next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one to <a> swap. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so my next pick is another skincare item and it's from Kiehl's and it's their Clearly Corrective Brightening and Smoothing Moisture Treatment. Now I took this away in April when I went away to the pig, you may have seen our mm -hmm. vid video of the minis that I took away. And this is one of the minis I took and I absolutely love it. I think we're gonna have to buy the full size. But this is almost a gel formula um, and it's really, really great at brightening the skin. It's got alpha hydroxy acids in. So it, I tend to use this in an evening mm -hmm. on sort of a night when I'm not using an oil yeah. because I'm very reluctant to put this on as a moist day, as a sort of yeah. a day moisturizer yeah. with alpha hydroxy acids. Obviously, I always apply my SPF, mm -hmm. but I'm always a little bit reluctant to yeah. use a lot of acids in the morning. Yeah. But this is a really nice one. Yeah, if you try that. some, it's really smoothing yeah. and it's really lightweight. It isn't is, it? yeah. Really easily oh. absorbed. It adds a nice, nice shimmer to your yeah. skin. Um, but this is a really yeah. nice one to try if you're looking for something to brighten and to get yeah. sort of alpha hydroxy acid into your routine. That's a really, That's a really one. nice one to use. Okay, my next one is a bit of a classic product, I would say. It's the Clarins mm -hmm. um, Beauty Flash Balm. Um, I've been using this for probably the last, um, over the last three years now. Um, it's just great. I find that if my skin is um, tired, um, it normally looks sort of lacklustre, dull, um, goes a bit dehydrated, this sort of comes to the rescue. Um, yeah, so I use it more so as a primer. I, so not something I use every day, but just when I, my skin needs to pick me up, it kind of um, adds in hydration, gives a nice glow to skin, sort of lifts and tightens everything. Um, but yeah, really hydrates and sits under makeup really nicely too. So definitely a cult product. It yeah. is a cult product. <laughs> I'm running very low, so I think I think I will need to repurchase mm, this when definitely. it runs out. Okay, so my final item is from Sanctuary Spa and mm. it's their um, Protect Therapist Secret Facial Oil. Yeah. You would have seen this when we did our brand review on um, Sanctuary. Now this I have been using every single night at the moment because I'm really loving mm. how well my skin is sort of working yeah, with it. it. It's, I'm waking up with it plumped, I'm waking up with it a lot more smooth. Um, all the way down to my neck as well I've been using this. And I like as well that a lot of the pipettes in a lot of serums squeeze right to the top, but this only gives you enough for a yeah. few drops. Yeah. It doesn't fill it up and then you have to yeah. count out the drops, yeah. it just gives you enough. So this is a really, really nice facial oil. Really enjoyed using this one this month. Mm -hmm. um, I have an abundance of facial oils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this has been top of my pick this yeah. month. Good. So my last one is actually a sort of lipstick. Um, it's by the brand called Lipstick Queen and it's called Frog Prince. Um, I wish I still had the packaging because, or oh, if I open the lid, let me show you. So it's a green lipstick but it doesn't go on green, it reacts with the natural um, pH in your lips and it creates a sort of nice natural flush. Unique. A unique, unique, lovely, love that word. So <laughs> um, it creates quite a rosy pink shade on me, um, but yeah, it's super easy to apply, you don't need a mirror, you can just swipe it on. It goes on quite balmy and gives a nice sort of um, subtle gloss to lips as well. Um, but yeah, the box um, has a really cute sort of illustration of the Disney, um, Princess Kissing the Frog, which is really cute, so I kind of wish I kept the box now. But the product is great, and yeah, it's a really good one. It's to have a really intriguing handbag. one, isn't it? Yeah. And I think because it's going to be a different shade on everybody, Yeah. I think that's what makes it so, yeah. so appealing. Yeah, and because it's a natural shade to your lips, mm -hmm. um, it can go with anything, so yeah, yeah really easy just to that's pop in your handbag. One. Yeah, so I love that one. Yeah. So there are our April faves, and again, we can't believe another month has flown by, so we'll be back at the end of May with our main yeah. favourites. We hope you've enjoyed it. Bye!